The time and temperature sign across the street from the Fargo Dome reads 13 degrees, but we're going to play indoor football this afternoon here in the Midwest as Wofford plays in the quarterfinal round of the FCS playoffs. The Terriers are in the quarters for the sixth time, and for the second time, they will play North Dakota State University, the number two seed in the playoffs against the number seven seeded Terriers. North Dakota State won their opener in the playoffs last week over San Diego. Diego 38 to 3 while Wofford at Gibbs Stadium dispatched of Furman 28 to 10. North Dakota State is 11 and 1. Wofford comes in at 10 and 2. When these clubs met in 2012, North Dakota State did not allow Wofford to score an offensive point. The Terriers on a pick six by Blake Wiley got seven. North Dakota State won 14 to 7. How will this one play out? Let's have a look at the highlights. North Dakota State now facing third and six from their 32. Two receivers left, one to the right, a wing to the left, four stick. Again, play action, pressure coming. He'll throw to the far side. It's caught, but the receiver will be struck down short of the first down marker. Bruce Anderson made the catch out of the backfield, but Colton Clemens, Coco, knocks him over at the 34-yard line. It will be fourth down. Fourth and two from the 40. Wofford lining up to go for it. Goodson out of the gun with two backs. Shotgun snap. Fake of the dive. Pitch near corner. First down, Blake Morgan. Cuts left to the 50. Slanting left 40. Blake to the 30. All the way down to the North Dakota State 22-yard line. Not only did they run it, they ran it big. Jalen Wimbush, the corner with the tackle. Well, if that doesn't send a message that the Terriers are here to win, I don't know what will. They spot him down at the North Dakota State 22. That is a 38-yard run. 40-yard try from dead ahead out of Mosley's hold. The snapper is Ross Hammond. Snap a little low, spot down, kick, end over end, a line drive, and it is good. And the Terriers have the initial lead. Luke Carter with a 40-yard field goal. Second and one, North Dakota State from their 37. Terriers bring five, flat pass caught. The receiver immediately hit hard, but that is a first down reception made by Seth Wilson out of the backfield. Mason Allstadt hit him hard, but the reception out to the 40-yard line is a first down for North Dakota State. He said another. That's their first one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, maybe he's going back to last week. They had a bunch last week. They did. It's continuous. First and 10, Bison at their 40. 3 nothing. Wofford with the lead. They send a tight end in motion to the right. And this is a three tight end formation. Hand off. And boy, did Miles Brown get in there and blow up the ball carrier. That play loses a yard. The handoff went to Ty Brooks at 5'9", 180. And he ran flat into 320-pound Miles Brown. That play loses a yard back to the 39. Man, did Miles anticipate that Whoa. snap count? He was in the backfield in a hurry. Bison first and 10 now at the Wofford 48. Man in motion right. Play action stick. Here comes pressure. He'll throw. Man wide open. Caught far sideline by Wentz to the 20. Cuts it inside to the 10 to the 5. Touchdown, North Dakota State. 48 yards. To Connor Wentz, who will go out of the gun. The deep man is Anderson. Stick play action will throw back corner of the end zone. Leaping catch for a touchdown. Third and eight from the 35. Goodson shotgun snap with two backs. Fakes the dive. Wants to make right corner. Making people miss. Shimmies his way across the 40 to the 45. That is a first down keeper for Brandon Goodson. He is stopped by Caleb Butler, the defensive end. Brandon Goodson in the open field. Showing some swerve in his hips. You don't yeah. see that that often. Hadn't shown that much, but that was a nice little move. Terriers pick up a first down. That's what they needed. First and 10, right hash from the 32. Bison send two receivers right, one left. Man in motion left. And it's a handoff. And Ty Brooks fumbles the football on a botch play. Who's got it? The Wofford. Terriers have it. Colton Wofford Clemens. football. Colton Clemens has come out of there with the football. Wofford has it at the NDSU 22-yard line. Wilson went in motion across the face of the quarterback, and that's about when the snap came and the timing was off, and we get a fumble. I think he was I think they were supposed to snap it to him. 
just got, got too cute. Man, what do you got? You know, they always tell you, don't don't try to pick it up and run. Don't try to pick it up and run. Fall on it. But that's what the Terriers did, and Colton came away with it. All right, here we go. Fourth down, two and a half from the three. Goodson from a gun, a wing to the left. Handoff, Stoddard up the middle to the goal line. He's in. He scores standing up. Touchdown, Terriers and Andre Stoddard. Well, that's the way you take advantage of the turnover. Terriers get back in this thing with an Andre Stoddard touchdown. Run. He has now scored a touchdown in 11 out of his last 13 games. First and 10 at the 11. They send two receivers to the left, one back sidecar left. Again, a two tight end formation. Wofford four on the line of scrimmage. Stick running the option left, and he's flattened at the line of scrimmage by Jaira Wilson. Terrier outside linebacker setting the edge on the quarterback, and Stick. Third down and goal at the one. They again will go out of the eye. The deep man again, Anderson. Tight end. Will motion right and set up as a second blocking back. Handoff right up the middle. Touchdown, Anderson and North Dakota State. First and 10, Wofford from the 22. Newman out of the gun with two backs on the left hash mark. Four down linemen for the Bison. Newman running the option right. Good pitch away to Morgan who fumbles the ball. It is picked up by one of the Bison. Return down to the 10, return to the 5. Where are they going to mark him down? They're going to mark him down at the 3 yard. Again, it's Robbie Grimsley. What a game this guy's having. Second and goal from the four. Erzendowski will split to the right. Again, they'll go out of the eye. Anderson deep. Play action. Quarterback rolling right. Throws underneath. Caught by the tight end. Touchdown, Ilias. And North Dakota State four-yard touchdown catch. First and goal from the five. They go out of the eye. Wide outs either side. Give to the deep man. Carries right. And Anderson untouched into the end zone. Hurdled somebody at the four-yard line. And he scores with ease. Touchdown, Bison. His season long is 47. He's 9 out of 13 this year. He's had two blocked. Jackson Kuntz from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. His holder is Kuntz, and the kick is blocked. It is loose on the turf. One of the Terriers letting it bounce around, and then it is covered by one of the Wofford players. It is covered by Mason Allstadt, so sure Wofford he, blocking the kick. Blocked. Not sure why he didn't pick It'll it up and run. Yeah, I don't know either. But it will be Wofford football on the block field goal. There's a gold star for the Terriers. And stick in the pocket, flushed out. We get a flag, he's going to run for it, and he will slant left into the end zone. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Fourth down in a yard, shotgun snap, Goodson handoff, left side, second effort, first down run, Chase Nelson across the 35 to the 37. Second and two from the 40. This time Goodson will throw down the middle, and it is caught. Another senior, R.J. Taylor, makes the catch on an in pattern at the NDSU 33. We're at 25 seconds to go, and North Dakota State will not snap the ball again. Congratulations to the Bison. They will head to the national semifinals. A dominating performance today for the Missouri Valley Conference champions, the Wofford Terriers, champions of the SoCon will have their year end for a second straight season to a Valley team in the quarters and they will finish the season with a record of 10 and 3. Your final score this afternoon from the Fargo Dome in Fargo, North Dakota, the Wofford Terriers fall. North Dakota State 42, Wofford 10. Coach, you stressed it all week, turnovers, and that, that was the thing, wasn't it? Well, that's uh, the thing that kind of uh, got one foot in the grave for us. Uh, just before the end of the second half, we uh, we just blew up, and uh, that created a a big hole for us, and uh, we we just just couldn't do uh, the the things that we wanted to do. Uh, big thing was that that team we played; they're outstanding. Uh, very few mistakes on their part, except for that one fumble that uh, we were able to get a touchdown off of. And I thought uh, I thought we were playing hard, uh, but uh, it, it it was difficult. Uh, 
offensively we struggled. Uh, we're trying to call the best play and uh, all of a sudden they shift the defense and uh, in there you can't hear. We're, we're screaming trying to check the play and things like that and you get uh, guys that hear part of it don't hear anything at all and so it's uh, it doesn't turn out that well. Uh, schematically I, I thought they did a great job of, of uh, defending us and I thought that the, their offense did a great job uh, with what they were doing. Uh, they, they do a, a tremendous job up front with uh, the big linemen that they have and uh, you know, we're trying to stop the run then all of a sudden we, we got a pass uh, down the field. So uh, it, uh, it wasn't the prettiest day but uh, at the same time uh, like I told the kids, I said you can reflect on double-digit wins again, and uh, not not that many folks, uh, you know, in the country can can say that they've had that. And uh, our guys, uh, that they're going to learn from it, they're going to grow from it, and so are our coaches. We're, we're uh, we'll get better, and um, best of luck to. Uh, North Dakota State, uh, they earned this win. Coach, uh, you did mention a 10-win season, and it's always hard to reflect on positive things after a game like that. But what do you think you'll take away from this season personally about this particular group, and maybe in particular your seniors? Well, we, we had a great senior group. We had a, a great deal of senior leadership. Uh, all of those guys, uh, just tremendous fighters, good people. Uh, guys that try to do it right consistently, uh, a, a group that uh, no matter how tough things got, uh, they, they were always uh, standing up and, and saying the right things and doing the right things. You know, you had a couple of down years in there before you got yeah. back to 10 wins. What does this last season mean to you on a personal level? Well, I, I think... Uh, Anytime you do this, yeah, you're very blessed. Uh, there's so many things that could have gone wrong uh, with this season. Uh, when you're going into overtime, double overtime, winning by one, winning by two, uh, a lot of that could have gone the other way. But uh, because of these kids, uh, they, they just had it in their mind that they could get it done, and they did. And uh, proud of my staff. Uh, all those guys will work their tails off. Uh, there's not a better group of guys in America. Hope you get a day off, Coach. Thanks. Well, the Fargo Dome is quiet now, but earlier the decibel level got close to 100 as the home team showed us why they are so tough in this facility. North Dakota State goes to 12 and 1. They advance to the national semifinals, beating Wofford 42 to 10 on a day in which the Terriers had a difficult time hanging on to the football. Wofford closes out the season 10 and 3. First time in program history, they score back to back 10 win seasons. They also will take home rings as they were Southern Conference champions. So now Wofford moves into the offseason, and Mike Ayers looks ahead to his 31st campaign as head coach of the Terriers. That's our final edition of Inside Wofford Football this year. For our executive producer, Garrett Hall, I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching.